Hi there, Lindsay here, the Frugal Crafter. Today we're going to take a look at the new expanded range of Chroma Flow color pencils by Derwent. I did a full review when these pencils first came out last year and they were just available in 24 colors. And I actually had two tins of these and a tin of the 12s. And um, I have used a lot of these pencils right down to nubs. I find them to be extremely easy to use, very soft, and they work really well for mixed media. Meaning if I do some marker work or some watercolor work and I just want to kind of zhuzh a color or bring in some opacity or adjust something, these work really well for that. They're soft enough to stick to my smooth marker paper and they also adhere really well on watercolor paper. They're just a really good all around easy to use pencil. Now I I think uh, one of the reasons that they expanded the line was because so many people enjoyed these pencils. Now originally the colors went from 1 through 24. The pencils that have, or the blocks that have the thick uh, border around them, those are ones that are in the 12 set. And uh, I think one of the reasons that had me reaching for that set of 24 so often is that there's only 24 colors. It was a small kit and easy to bring with me. I throw it in my bag with my markers. I used them a lot during Inktober just to kind of zhuzh up some marker. I can actually show you some, just to zhuzh up some marker art. And it just worked so well for that. They are very soft, so if you have any issues with uh, strength, I use them on this, you can easily lay down color without having any, any, um, any issues. This one right here, I did that, I brightened up the skin tone with the, uh, the Chrome Flow pencils. And I just kind of, uh, yeah, fleshed things out with the Chrome Flows. It worked really well for that. And this was, a, and unfortunately I don't have too many pieces of artwork with the Chroma Flows because I sent most of my Derwent artwork down to the NAMTA trade show. So I haven't gotten it back yet. Um, and there you can see, this is how opaque they are on black. I did gesso this board. This was for a Michaels class that I did last month. And uh, there's another Michaels class on their YouTube channel that I use these pencils for. It was a bunch of sewing things. So you can find that on Michaels or on my blog. But, um, but yeah, very opaque. If we look at this swatch on black, you can see how well these colors hold up on the, um, on the darker cardstock. This is actually Fabriano black black paper, which is really smooth. This is B drawing paper, which is a vellum surface, which is still fairly smooth. And then I just did this little um, sketch this morning just to kind of see how I could layer up and blend. And even though they're a really soft pencil, I still was able to layer just fine. Now on this little kind of rainbow row here, I did a light layer of just a random assortment of pencils. Then I went back with a medium pressure layer and then I went over again with a burnishing like heavy layer and uh, it took all that just fine. I use some odorless mineral spirits on this so they work well with the odorless mineral spirits. And if you look, if you look at the, the difference between the burnished layer, that's the rainbow. I don't know if I can catch the light, if you can see the shine. And when you use odorless mineral spirits, you get rid of a lot of that shine too. So if the shine bothers you, that's a good way to avoid that and it doesn't wrinkle your paper. So we're up to 72 colors, 70 standard colors and two metallics. And um, I'm generally not a huge fan of metallics, but if I think, I really think these pencils are probably going to be really well suited for rubber stampers and adult coloring book enthusiasts. And because of that, I know like when I'm, if I'm making greeting cards and I'm working on like black cardstock, it's really fun to take a ruler and do like a metallic border or even just color in a design with metallic pencils. So I think that that would be really nice. Or if you just want to maybe like uh, zentangle um, a design on some black cardstock and then color it in with your pencils, do kind of like almost like a stained glass effect or something like that. Uh, this would be really, these would be really nice. So, um, but I didn't want to mention that because two of your colors are going to be metallics. I know some people like it, some people don't. These also, because they're so soft, you could smudge them fairly easily. So I just want to make you aware of that. Um, I, I did smudge, I don't know how I smudged that, but it was from the gold and silver. I somehow, I must have had some, um, some dust from coloring. I don't find these to be dusty at all though. They do seem to um, be very glidey and smooth, um, not, not dry feeling at all. In fact, they feel very much like Prismacolor and I would almost say they're kind of like Prismacolor without the problems. The, I didn't have any issues with any of the wood splitting when I sharpened them. And uh, the only one pencil I had that broke, which, and I had more breakage with the, uh, with the set of the original set of 24. Um, I had one lead snap in my pencil sharpener, but as soon as I cleaned my pencil sharpener out and resharpened it, it was fine. But um, if you like Prismacolor, but you're frustrated with how 
how much they can break and how the wood can split and how you can kind of waste a pencil sometimes because you get a dud and it just goes through your pencil sharpener eats it you won't have as much problems with this if, if the tin that I have is any indication um what else uh let's see so the color numbering has changed a little bit but if you have like the original set like say this is a uh, 11, it would be 1100. So they add zeros to uh, to the original number. So 15 would be 1500. I think like one would be 0100. So they could have the numbers or they could have spaces in their range to be able to add the other colors because they do put them in usually like a color family order. So it's just kind of easy to reorder them in your pencil case or your pencil tin if that's important to you. Mine just, I put mine in wherever, it doesn't bother me. But um, I know, especially if you do a lot of uh, stamping or if you're an adult coloring book enthusiast, you want to have those colors that blend together next to each other so you can do some complex shading and whatnot and have that really smooth blend so that's kind of handy now if you look at this chart I downloaded this off their website there is light fast information they use the blue wool scale and anything six and above is said to be highly light fast under museum conditions will not fade for 100 plus years so we have um, let's see five five eight so sun yellow would be good um, amber gold would be good, golden sun, mango, flame, all good colors. So you could go through and you could either, if you're really concerned about light fastness, you could go through and choose the colors that you want based on their light fast rating and just purchase those. They are now available open stock. That's new. They weren't available open stock before. And I believe the price on open stock on the Derwent website was $1.89. That might be... I can't remember if that was dollars or that was pounds because I can't remember which site I was looking on when I saw that. But that's nice. You can buy just the pencil you want or if you've used one up, you can just buy that pencil. Because before, like when I was down to this little nub here, I was like, well, I can't get that open stock. I'm going to, I guess I'll, I'll use a Prismacolor because they feel very similar or I'll use a Color Soft. But um, now you can get these open stock. Now the barrels here on the Chroma Flow are thinner than Color Soft, so you can use any inexpensive pencil extender you want with the Chroma Flow. Whereas with the Color Soft pencils, and I'll show you here, the Color Soft pencils are thicker, so you would need a um, a. I don't know if you can tell there. If I hold, if I put them like that, can you see? This is a Color Soft. The Color Softs are thicker. I don't know if that really. If you can really tell on camera. Um, I personally like the feeling of the thicker barrel and having the thicker lead. Uh, the color softs feel just maybe a titch drier but not much. They're very similar. So if you have a full set of color softs, I don't know what the benefit of getting the chroma flows would, would be just unless you just want to kind of, I know that prism colors are hard to get in the UK and um, I know a lot of people want to experience prisma color softness these feel like prismacolor softness so they're just a little bit softer than the color soft pencils if that's important to you uh the other interesting thing about this chart because now they have the 12 and 24 set they've always had but they also have a 36 48 and 72 set so you may be thinking okay i want these color i want certain colors let me see what set they're in so maybe i don't buy the full set maybe everything i need is in the 36 set or whatever so they do have them um noted for what set what color set they belong to. So that's really handy. I love it when they do their charts because I honestly, I should just print out every chart for each set that I have and, and uh, put it in a binder or something because these are really, really handy to have rather than trying to hunt them down online anytime I need to look at them. Let's see, let's do a little, a uh, couple comparisons though because I do find that these are very similar to the Color Soft range. We'll just look at the colors here really quick. So you can kind of see what we have and how nice and opaque they are. I don't really have um, much critical to say about them except for the fact, except for the price. I think they're a little expensive right now because they're new and I think they're actually, I think websites are selling them for more than the Colorsoft and I think the Colorsoft's a better pencil. So in my opinion, unless you have arthritis and you have some issue where you really need that super, super soft lead, I would recommend the Color Soft over these for that reason. But I mean, obviously, I know I know it's fun to, to try all the pencils and have a, a good variety, so I understand the temptation of that. And I'm not gonna tell you what to do, obviously, but I'm just I'm just saying that, you know, they're quite similar. So here are two pencils. One is a Chrome Flow, one is a Color Soft. If I put them right there, can you tell? Let me zoom in a little bit, maybe that will help. Can you see how much thicker the Color Soft is? All right, so now let's do a couple little swatches. I'll do them on black, 
This is the Chroma Flow. I'm not sure. And that's a color soft, but you know what? That's, I, I think that I can get a closer color to this. Oh, right here, let's try this one. Let's try this one. Opacity wise, I would say they're really same. This is Chroma Flow, that's Color Soft. So very similar. Let's look at them on, on just some drawing paper. Very, very smooth lay down. The Color Soft feels a little dry next to the Chroma Flow. The Chroma Flow definitely feels more silky. But the Color Soft are nowhere as near as dry as say like a Koinor, uh, pencil. I'm trying to think what their what their artist line is called. But those feel really dry. These just these this the the chroma flow really glides very easily. Very little pressure is required. Let me just move that over there. Very little repression pressure is required. Let me just try this. I'm just trying to like suss this out if you might have arthritis. I don't think that there's a huge a huge softness benefit over the chroma flow over the color soft because I think the color soft might actually be more pigmented and the um, the chroma flow might just be softer. So that could be why they feel, they feel so similar. But I would still, I would still recommend the color soft unless you really do need that super soft, um, that super soft pencil. Blending wise, I think they're also very similar. So if I grab a, um, I'm just saying, what do I have for colors here and color soft? Cause I have a, I have a couple tins of, uh, of color soft. So I don't know if I have all my colors there. I'll grab a couple of greens and grab a couple of greens here. Is that close to either of them? Boy, those almost look like the same color. Let's take these two colors. Okay, so let's do Chroma Flow and then we'll do, let's do it on black. I think it'll show up even better on black. Okay, so I'm gonna start in with my darker color. This is the Chroma Flow. I don't know if that's the best to do on black because it's got so much white pigment in it. And blend together pretty easily with just a couple layers. And then if I do, these might be too close together too, but we'll see. Well, I do say the color, the color soft just does feel a little bit more pigmented. These are different. I mean, I tried to pick ones that look pretty similar, but they are quite different. This is more of a minty and that's more of a, like a Robin's egg blue, but I would say they blend pretty similarly. So it just depends on what you like, honestly. Uh, I was excited to see the open stock availability and to see the light fast ratings and to see the expanded color range. So I'm happy about that. The tins are in a, they're in three trays that are more squarish of 24 per layer. And you got two metallics as opposed to the traditional Derwent tins, which are two layers of 36 or one layer of 36, depending on what size you get. So I'm not sure why they went with the square tins. Maybe because Prismacolor uses square tins and that's kind of what they're very similar to. Maybe they're, I don't know, trying to make the transition, if you're transitioning from Prismacolor to Chroma Flow to be a little bit smoother. Uh, smoother, I don't know, I could like the blending. But, uh, but there you have it. That's what I have to say about these pencils. I have done a full review on them, which I will link to. I'm, I'm pleased with them. I'm pleased with them. But uh, just my only con, honestly, I think they're a little expensive right now. And I think the price will probably drop. And if you're going to spend $120 on a set, I think you would be happier in the long run with the Derwent Color Soft because they're not quite as soft as these, but because they're a little bit more pigmented, I'd say they're both well pigmented, but I think that the color shops are more pigmented because of the extra pigmentation on those. I think that, uh, that they're a better pencil. I also think that Chroma Flow will drop in price once the newness wears off and the fever's kind of down. Um, but right now I think everyone's just trying to get their hands on them. So, you know, so the price is higher, but that's my opinion. I don't know. I don't know for sure. That's just what I think. I will put all the information that I mentioned in the video description. If you go on my blog or on my YouTube channel and you search 
Chroma Flow tutorials. You'll find different artworks that I did with these and you could follow along or, or even just watch them and see if you think it's something that would be right for you. But there you have it. I hope you enjoyed this update on the Chroma Flow review. And until next time, happy crafting!